Hi, Taurus. This, as you know, is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. We will take a look at the cards to get a sense of the awareness for the week. Okay, the first two cards I'm going to choose are for awareness for the week. Okay, so the awareness for the week, that we have the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is typically a card about conflict, about people struggling perhaps with their ego, not working together, that uh, this shows a lot of disorganization. And, you know, maybe there's too many people who want to be heard and not enough for listening, but this can can relate to uh, petty arguments, discussions that are become heated. Uh, there's a sense that people are not working together. So if this is work-related, then maybe the team isn't doing a good job of working in harmony or unity. If this is about a relationship, then there could be some uh, arguments going on or some you know discussions that are a little more impactful than a typical discussion. So, you know, conflict, um, uh, inability to work together, power struggles. Then with this five of wands, we have the nine of swords. And then a nine of swords is such a very uh, clear illustration. And it's an illustration showing anxiety of worry, of stress the things that keep you up at night. So something is troubling you. Something maybe is on your mind. Maybe it doesn't reach to the level of insomnia, but there's something perhaps just kind of laying there that is, you know, troubling you. This can be a card of guilt. It can be a card of sadness. But what we need to think about with the Nine of Swords is that this is a temporary situation. And ultimately, we find a way to get ourselves out of bed. We find a way to start to deal with things. And sometimes the way to do so is to focus just on the daily routine, to make that a part and to, to uh, one step at a time to get back into a daily routine, not to let yourself, um, you know, be consumed by this overwhelming stress or sadness. So let's get some information for terms of guidance for the week. So very uh, nice to see strength in this re reading, particularly as guidance and after the Nine of Swords, after conflict, is strength is a major arcana card. And this is about using and believing in yourself that you have the strength to handle adversity, to handle the stressful times, the times when things don't go well. And the message of strength is to be kind and considerate, to use your loving hands versus force, versus being reactionary or impulsive. She is, well, the icon is taming the beast uh, through kindness. And so it's about self-control. It's about being able to tame your own wilder instincts. Strength tells us that we have a big heart, we have courage, and that we can handle anything. You have to have faith in yourself. You have to have the belief in yourself. When you have that belief, it will begin to restore your confidence. So rely on strength. So then we have the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords... Looks like he's looking, well, again, I'm saying he. Looks like the icon is uh, bodies turned in one way and the 
head is in, in, in another way. So there's a twisting here, perhaps. A sense of looking over one's shoulder. With the Page of Swords, the swords, Page of Swords is focused on uh, our reasoning, our thinking, how we think, how we problem solve, how we communicate. Do we communicate clearly? The page is this youthful energy, again, where we're looking for truth, looking to be clear, looking to get uh, into an opportunity where we can use our smarts. But there's also a sense here of protection, of being ready for what may come. So this is, you, you're aware that life is not going to be simple and that the weak may not be simple. So use your smarts, use your reasoning, stick to the truth, stick to the heart of the matter. Focus on strength. And, and this figure is looking right at the strength card. This figures in the direction of the strength card, but looking down, looking down at the hands or the the lack of hands, the, the arm here. So let's get a sense of the possible outcomes. Okay, so possible outcomes we have for this week. We have arguments, petty arguments, people not working together, stress, concern, feeling that you have to be strong through this situation, being ready for whatever comes your way, using your smarts, and then more sword energy of the three of swords, which is a painful situation, something that has hurt you. It could be a big thing that hurts you. Someone lies to you, someone betrays you. Third party situation, uh, dishonesty again. Um, or it could be that someone said something unkind. It could be gossip. But there's certainly a sense of pain here. And we feel pain all the time. And, and we have moments where people uh, hurt us or we're hurt by events or things, loss. And so you have to find a way to, to process it, to accept it, to go with it, and to process it in whatever ways helps you. Uh, this is ultimately about healing, is that yes, it hurts, Three swords through the heart hurts, and we know what that feeling feels like. But we have to allow ourselves to heal so that we can move on, so that we can have other chances to, to bring in better relationships or better situations that don't cause us pain. So processing, acknowledging, and trying to find a way to heal from the hurt. And then we have the major arcana of judgment. So judgment is a card where we see the figures rising out of their coffins, listening to the call, the angels blowing the horn, horn as if to say, come on out, I'm calling you out. And this is really a chance to think about things, to reflect, to review, to give yourself an opportunity to reflect on what's going on. And perhaps you've been in a situation or a relationship or some type of dynamic that has included arguments, stress, and hurt feelings. And you may be taking your time to say, time to reset here. I need to really think about what my part in all of this is, 
Why have I allowed this to continue? And, you know, for act two, I can change things. It's never too late to change your course or your path. And, you know, to have a rebirth or a transformation comes from your own desires, from your own self-awareness. I see with the judgment card a lot, a sense of awareness. On a literal level, judgment could relate to a legal concern. But in the context of this reading, this has to do with really taking stock of what's been going on. This may be a week for you to take stock of how you're feeling, what you've been dealing through, revisiting the strength card, trying to really use it to help you get through these situations and to use your smarts, your, your intellectual capability to be able to address some of these things that are not quite going the way that you had hoped. You know, judgment brings the opportunity for rebirth or a second chance. So now let's choose a card for a meditation point or focus area for the week. Supreme Protection, Green Terra. You are protected. Cards are being, cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation. Trust. And the message here could be trust yourself. Trust your own decisions that you're making. You're protected in that uh, sometimes when you feel hurt or disappointed or sad, you feel the lack, you may feel lack of support. You may feel lack of love. But cords are being cut. So this gives you a chance to, again, to maybe start in a fresh direction that's going to be more agreeable and bring more happiness. Could be the, the beginning seeds of this. So now let's get... A little more information when it comes to emotional self or spiritual self. Okay, I'm going to pull from the middle here. Caregiver, we are with you and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives, just as you received care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. So it's a special card because caregivers are uh, those who are trying to create a kind and uh, loving path for those who need it and who need the support. And again, I love what it says about sometimes the caregivers are so focused on helping others and being of service that they neglect themselves. So this, I would take it as you know, when you're going through heavy things, if you're feeling lost, if this is, if for some of this, for some of you, this may relate to a caregiving situation. For others, maybe not. But is to think about the effect of feeling stress and all of these things on how you're doing. You know, when you have been supportive and loving, and maybe if you're not getting it in return, it takes its toll. So, Think about, you know, the balance of that within your life. So now I'm going to choose a card for love 
and we will get a sense of uh, what's shaken for you in terms of love. Release. You have the, the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. I think it's a clear message to release whatever is going on in your mind and in your life that uh, has been causing you to feel such stress and anxiety. And to release and to let go of the battles that you might be facing, the challenges, and particularly once you're able to release the hurt and the pain, then you have the opportunity for a fresh start, for rebirth, for a second chance to create the life that you seek, the happy life that you are hoping for. So this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, and comment. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next week. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.